Hey all you viewers out there, it's me again, Son of Man 11 and I'm here, and I'm here to you with some more... <laughs> Roll out the first day of anniversary to share! So it's taking me incredibly long to get you the next part of this. I just kind of forgot about it. But, um, anyways, let's hop right into this. Okay. So, Chamber of Insight, that's basically the, uh, little tutorial, but I know everything about this game. So, at first, we have the Sea of Trees, Talus, Talus Cave, and Death Mountain. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Sea of Trees. Okay, so basically, X is to call the little guy, R or L is to switch between them, and A is to is your action button to like open chests and stuff. Y is your special ability, like a shield, a bow, and these things are basically, um, if they get a hold of you, they suck the loopies out of you and you lose a bunch of them. And B is your sword. And B is how to use a, your sword. If you hold B, oh no. If you hold B, you spin around and do it kind of like a mega attack. Okay, so I'm going to start by going down here. Another similar one. Uh, those little fairy things, they will heal your health to full health. Uh, snakes, you know, your simple enemies. popping up in grass, and when they do, um, avoid them because they hurt. And black rupees, um, you lose rupees if you, if you pick up black, ru black rupees. No! Okay, rupee race. Basically what they do is they go around you and then they, and then you lose your rupees. So basically you just want to run around, around, run away from, from the rupee race. And yeah, so this level basically, you know, I, you might have to find a key. I am not sure, but really, if you if you want a bunch of rupees and stuff, just go around the entire map because um, there's little tunnels and get all the treasure chests. But um, kind of like what I'm doing now, you know. Anywho, I'm just gonna kind of go through and get the chest. I'm not gonna bother with the grass because I do kind of want to speed things up because the, the little levels do take quite a bit. So I think I'm just gonna go through and get just and just get the chest because this is taking a bit. I don't know. I might skip the ones in the middle a bit. I don't know. But basically, you get a lot of rupees from this level, and uh, yeah. No, 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 no,
Oh no. Okay. Basically, at the end is on this little heart right here. Gives you an extra heart and heals you up to full health. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, just in time. Basically, then after that, it teleports you to the next area. And here we have a new special item. It is, you, is a bomb. You get bombs. Use them to blast open suspicious walls. Press Y after sending them to don to detonate them remotely. Okay, now what you do for these is you just have to, have to team push them. And now what they were talking about for sus 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 suspicious walls is basically the ones like that that are like cracked. Just put a bomb to that to, to those puppies and they'll blow right up. That was kind of a weird way of ah! And you have a and you have a chance of getting bombs and chests. You know, classic parkour. Uh, and then if I do remember, there was a lot of those things that suck the rupees out of you. Sadly, you cannot throw them over walls. Big boulders. Oh, I'll get into those later. You just team pick it up and team throw it in. Should I get, yeah, I'll just go ahead and get into this. Uh, new item, you get the Pegasus Boots. Dash, dash with the speed of the, of the legendary flying steed. Basically what it is, is if you hold Y, you go like this. And your sword is out, so it's like this. You know, it's a pretty cool item. Now what you do for, for things like this, you disconnect it, you actually pick up your partner, and throw him. Yes, throw him across the river. Oh, more bombs! Mm. Um, these enemies, basically, when you break them, they just, like, split up. You know, like, more enemies, and they, like, grab on you. Jump on you. All that. Yay, more rupees. I mean, snakes, sorry. Back. Oh wait, no, no. I don't want my Pegasus Pegasus boots back yet. Come on. Oh. Nope. Still don't want my Pegasus boots. Whoop. Ah. Woo. Okay, we need a key to get over there. Yeah, guys, again, sorry it's taking me so long to get to this. I just, you know. But I'm here now. Oh! Ah, wow, I walked right into that. Literally, I did. I threw it as I walked. Now, I get to go back the way I came. I really am not quite sure they gave us the Pegasus booth, but oh well. These big things you both gotta stand on, and normally it'll like summon the boss here. And basically for these, you just gotta get it down to where the little, um, bubble runs out. Okay. Hey! Yeah. 
Boss by boss battle. Sorry. Okay, our first boss battle. Basically, when they when they spell it, the ones that are the color of whichever one you're playing at, you want to hit it. Because if it is the other color, it will not it will not hurt it. It'll only hurt it is if the color of your tunic is the one that you're hitting. Like say I'm using the green one, it only works for the, if I hit the green the uh, uh what is it? Green petals. It won't work for the pink petals. It only works for the green one. See? Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna switch to it because it seems to be. Oh, oh, come on. Yes. And more. Oh, right. For this one, what you need to do is you need to pull this one out. And then you gotta hurry around to the other side. Well, you don't have to hurry around to the other side, but then you gotta go to the other side and do the same thing. See what that does is it both um, reveals the petal or flower or whatever you call it. Um, I won't go over this item right here because. Come on, dump here. So for this strategy, what you gotta do is you gotta dump your guy off there and then switch over so the guy's still fine with that and it takes him a little bit to realize that, um... Oh! Did I do it? Did I do it? Oh! Well guys, that was our first boss battle! Anyway, let's finish this off. Who's the ending sequence of the group of levels? I am the great fairy of forest, guardian of the sea of trees. You have done well to gather so much treasure, I dub you. Little eggs, waiting to hatch into heroes. I grant you each a silver key. If all you, if you, if all of you collect the three silver keys of the great fairies of forest, ice, and flame, the path to Veiti's palace shall open. You can, you can then make your way to rescue there to rescue Princess Zelda. Onward, little hero eggs. So basically, oh, here you go. And then it just tells you how much rupees you've collected and all that. And then it saves, so you can't save until you've beaten it. Okay, guys, so that was the Sea of Trees. Basically, what that fairy lady was saying is that, um, since you've collected so many rupees, um, you, she gives you the silver keys. I've had it before where I've played it and I didn't get enough rupees and she didn't give it to me. I was like, what? I did all of that and <laughs> you're not going to give me just because I didn't get some stupid gems or whatever? But, um, yeah, guys, so I hope you like the Sea of Trees. I'll definitely will be doing, um, Talus Caves and Death Mountain some other time. And, yeah, guys, so I think that should just about do it for this video. Anyway, guys, so comment, rate, subscribe, whatever the heck you want to do, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!